What's up everybody? John from Old Riding Farm here. Thanks for joining me today. In today's video, we are finally going to do something that's not chainsaw carving, something that's not craft shows, something that's not tools, something that's not tractor. Well, the tractor's involved. We are going to do some mother flipping farm chores. And I know that's why the majority of you are here. So, Pebbles is playing with the uh, barn cat. Very farmy. Let's see if we can get Kenny over here. Kenny! Come here, Kenny. Kenny! Anyway, he's coming over. So, Kenny's a little speedster. Uh, it's actually working out really well with our barn cats because they live in the big house over here. Oh, look at that. Look at that glorious peacock. Not NBC, so it's not copyrighted. Just full white peacock. Aren't you just the most handsome man I've ever seen? Besides myself. Right? And Kenny. Ha! Everybody say hello to Kenny. Kenny's not the biggest fan of being picked up, but he seems okay with this. <laughs> anyway, so on my list of stuff to do today, we have this big old pile of wood chips that I need to move. So I had a, a tree company friend of mine drop off some logs actually on the other side over there. Um, just because I'm running out of small logs. But, uh, you know, we have some divots in the road here that I'd like to fix. And it's also, you know, we had so much rain. I know we were getting some ruts in here, or I was concerned we were gonna get ruts in here. So I got some wood chips. Um, Catherine hates the ruts and, you know, it gets muddy and nasty and it's no fun for anybody. And luckily there's some birch wood chips in there, which smell kind of like root beer, which is nice. So, I'm gonna take some time, I'm gonna do that. We also, Catherine went through and weeded this garden. Doesn't it look so good now? <laughs> she did such a good job, cause she got, um, I don't know if she planted them in here. Well, she must've planted the irises in here. So there was a, they had an iris sale, wholesale for the small scale grower. And so Kat jumped on that, of course, cause your girl loves a good sale, especially on irises. Um, but she also got some free hosses. And so I know on Friday, while I was driving up to my show in Lafayette, New York, she was doing some weeding in here. So we got a few piles of weeds. Um, and I haven't turned my compost pile in a while. And she's also been doing a really good job of cleaning out the chicken coops. So I'm going to come and pick up these weed piles, throw them into my compost, uh, do a little turning and combining on that. And then I'll come back, grab some wood chips. I gotta move some logs down. I'd like to do some organizing down in the lumber yard or the wood yard. Then I wanna take these leaves, put these leaves in our compost also. And I have a plan for that. Cause last year, you know, we tried with the bucket and it just, you can't get enough leaves in the bucket to make it worthwhile to go down there. But I have a plan, man. And I think it'll be pretty good. Anyway, let's go get the tractor started, pick up these weeds. All right. Got that pile of weeds down here. So you can see my beautiful pile of chicken and alpaca poop. <laughs> uh, as well as some leaves. So we got some wood chips from my buddy Anthony the other day, or a couple weeks ago actually. And he said it had some cleanup in it, which is actually good because we could separate that. And that's like, you know, little branches and twigs and stuff. So I don't know a lot about compost, but I know you're supposed to have browns and greens. So we got some greens now, we have lots of browns. And I'm going to take all of those, uh, the leaves that I have there too. Uh, but so my next step is I'm going to take the tractor. I'm going to switch it to the bucket and I'm going to grab, uh, Catherine mentioned five or six buckets worth of, uh, wood chips to put in the emo, e to put in the emu enclosure. Right. Oh, light bulb. I don't know. It's my Australian accent. How'd I do Steve? Anyway, so you can't see it from here, but this is the emu house. And so I'm gonna dump some chips, but I gotta take a little circuitous route down over there. Uh, but I'll dump some chips over in front of the emu house. Maybe I'll do a little bit of spreading too, because Catherine's been working really hard on the farm. 
because I've been, you know, doing working part time and then doing chainsaw carving, which is actually like more work than working full time and doing chainsaw carving, oddly enough. Well, it's more stressful because then it's like in the more like I'm more crunched for time because I'm trying to rush through chainsaw carving stuff as well as, you know, I got to make sure I do my actual job because I love my job. My job is great. My boss is great. It's been super flexible. You know, I've worked there for almost eight years now, so it is hard moving to part time. But, um, you know, got to do what you got to do. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to get to moving those wood chips now. So that should be uh, pretty good. That's like a good four foot pile of wood chips. So at least get us started in there. So now, well, I guess maybe I'll bring, I'll bring one more down. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the stump grinder, put on the rake, and then I'm gonna blow the leaves into the thing. So I'm gonna, uh, well, that'll go. I'm gonna put the pallet forks up on the tractor, take the stump grinder off, put the rake on, and then I have some IBC bladders back there somewhere that I'm gonna take and use that for a, a leaf thing. And uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute. All right, so I have this here IBC tote that I converted into a little screening tool for sawdust. I was thinking that maybe I would be able to sell it, but it ended up just not being worth it to go through it. Nobody wanted it. Um, and I got this IBC tote from actually a guy who lives in the town next to me. Um, He's got a YouTube channel also, Dude Ranch DIY. He has a great channel, he does a great job with his videos. Uh, he's a lot of firewood processing, tractor stuff. Check him out for sure. Um, but anyway, so he does firewood and so he uses the IBC totes. He takes the metal cage and stacks it with firewood and he just gives these uh, bladders away for free. So my thought was, you know, I needed a way to get um, sawdust and like, you know, the old, the off cuts from my chainsaw carving to be just out of the way. So originally I had a whole bunch of these, but it just ended up like way easier to just kind of burn the scrap, which is sad, but you know, so I used this little screening tool to screen out the sawdust, which is just chicken wire and two by fours that I actually had already built. And so you can see it did a good job. You know, so that's nice, fine. Just got it all over my alpaca gloves. Nice, fine uh, sawdust, but nobody really wanted it. I don't really want it. So, and it was a little bit too much work to like shovel it out and put it in there. But what I can use this for now is leaf collection.
All right, so clearly not the most eloquent way, but I mean, this thing holds way more leaves than my bucket would. And like last year I tried like putting it in a tarp and then loading the tarp into the truck, you know, lifting the tarp with the, with the forks. It was not ideal, but this worked out great. The other great thing about this is that it's just a pallet and a free IBC tote. And I'm sure that Jake has a million more. Uh, and this is all like scrap wood that I just kind of screwed together. I think even going forward, I wouldn't even put this on a pallet. I would just hold it, you know? And I mean, the, the, so the great thing about it is like, if it breaks, it doesn't matter. I didn't pay any money for this. This took me like five minutes to put together. Well, maybe, maybe like 20 minutes, but either way, you know, this is great. This worked out perfectly. I mean, I got all my leaves on top of there. I mean, if you look at it volumetrically wise, science, I don't know why, what I have against science. I love science. Bill, Bill, Bill. Anyway, I'm feeling good now for some reason. Still feeling grateful, even though it's been a stressful day. You know, so the bus went into limp mode at the end of, at the end of my trip, which means there's something wrong with it. It could potentially just be an overheating issue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhook the battery to reset everything and then try it again and see how it works before I bring it to my mechanic. We'll see how that goes. So that stresses me out a little bit. And then one of my neighbors is uh, putting in some some underground like fiber cable and the guys keep trying to dig it on, on my driveway, on our driveway. And it's not my neighbor's fault, it's it's Frontier's fault. The, the guys that they send out, they just don't give good instructions. But anyway, that's all good, all resolved. Well, except for the bus, but I, which I'm a little worried about, but you know, there's nothing I can do about that. So. Look at how big this pile is. Look at all this poop. Finally, it's farm chore Friday, baby, even though it's Monday. Anyway, all right, so I'm gonna do another load of that and then I'm gonna grab some firewood and then we'll do some other stuff, maybe, if there's time. I'm having birthday dinner tonight, so very busy today. All right, so I don't know anything about compost. But so this is the oldest stuff that I have right here. And I mean, this looks pretty good as far as just like visuals. You know, it's steaming a little bit. I don't know how, you know, if that's good or bad or what it's supposed to be. Um, but I do know that that looks good. And so I was actually just talking to Catherine. So our plans for this compost are not to fill raised beds. They're to uh, spread in our new pastures in order to grow grass. So honestly, I don't need this to be super nutrient dense or whatever. I just need this to be good enough so that grass will grow. And I need it to also be, you know, sitting long enough that there's no parasites or whatever going on in there. Um, and everything that they say with alpacas is, you know, when it looks like dirt, that's when it's good. But since we have chicken manure in here too, we're gonna wait until next spring uh, to get it going. So I am excited, this looks pretty good. Still gotta mix this in. So I'm gonna go grab the bucket and do that. And then we gotta grab some firewood. And then I think we'll be done. I didn't have time to mess around in the, in the wood yard, but you can only do so much, you know? All right, so I repurposed the metal shipping container from my sawmill to make a little firewood rack. 
So this is some really old firewood that's been sitting around. So it's a little, probably not great, but uh, this should be really dry compared to the firewood that I split earlier. And there's a bunch of it here from my friend who used to uh, do firewood here. So I'm hoping to just sort of use all that stuff up before going to the firewood that I split, which will give the firewood that I split some more time to season, get dry, and in general be better. So anyway, that's going to do it, guys. So you can see Cat came back. And uh, so I finished the path here. It looks looks pretty good. Not great, but, you know, I think better than it was. And I'm sure it'll get ruined with rain at some point soon anyway. But uh, Kat did some more weeding. And we have a bunch of stuff planted over here. We planted all the irises today. So got a lot of stuff done today, which is great. And look how much different this looks over here. And I took all the weeds put them in my compost pile. So everybody cross your fingers for uh, good compost. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this video. We'll catch you in the next one.